Hello, in this video we're gonna check all available gestures and motions on uh, Nothing Phone 2A. And to do this, first we'll need to open our settings inside, locate the system at the bottom, click on it and enter gestures. Right here we have uh, multiple different options and let's start with navigation mode. If you click on that, you'll be able to change how you will navigate your phone using gesture navigations or three buttons navigations. If you decide on gestures, you'll be able to navigate uh, by performing different gestures like this one. To go back, you can swipe up to go to the home and etc. You can see the full tutorial uh, in our other video. Then there's the three buttons navigation and here you will see three buttons at the bottom of the screen and you'll be able to also navigate your phone using them. Now let's go for a screenshot gestures and there's three finger swipe, double uh, disable power button and volume down button which uh, if you enable it will disable the function for taking screenshot using your uh, the traditional way let's say uh, using your power button and volume down key at the same time. But uh, now let's cover this. So we can swipe our three fingers from top of the screen to take a normal screenshot. Or we can swipe three fingers from middle of the screen to take a partial screenshot. Or actually press and hold three fingers. So the, uh, this animation right there didn't tell you exactly how to do it, but uh, if you read through it, that means you can. Uh, to, you need to press uh, three fingers onto the screen. Anyway, let's move to double press power button and here you'll be able to assign different function for that. So for example, we can go with uh, torch and if we double press on the power button right here, it should enable our torch in this example, but you can choose different function if you like. Then there's press and hold power button to access a digital assistant, that means Google Assistant, and you can also switch between power menu if you decide on power menu, that way you'll be able to power off your device, restart it, enter emergency mode, or set it on lockdown. Uh, but if you decide on digital assistant, you can adjust the press and hold duration, and that way you can call out your Google Assistant like this. Next is uh, one-handed mode. If you scroll down and enable one-handed mode shortcut, you'll be able to access uh, your notification bar from the middle of the screen by pressing on this accessibility key and you can use your phone in one hand. So for some reason, okay, yeah, it works. So we, as you can see, your screen basically cuts in half and you can access notification bar uh, without two hands. Next is a mistouch prevention and uh, prevent screen touches whilst, whilst uh, your device is in your pocket. You can enable or disable that. Tap to show lock screen and lift to show lock screen. If you lock your phone, you can tap on your screen to wake it up. And also you can pick it up with a grip to also wake up the screen without touching any buttons. And the last is flip to glyph and if you enable it for quiet focus put the device with the glyph, uh, glyph interface face up on the flat surface to trigger silent mode. Lights only notifications and calls. The glyph interface will pause briefly when flip to glyph is uh, when flip to glyph is activated. Okay, so that basically means if you lock your screen and put it upside down, let's disable the flashlight. Uh, that means the glyph side on uh, the upper side. It should prevent all, uh, I mean, si enter silent mode and uh, all of the calls, messages, everything will be silent. You'll be able to see if uh, you received any by looking at the glyphs. If they have a light, that means somebody probably called or messaged you. And that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a like and a comment below.